Trump hosted yet another historic rally last night in Florida with thousands, I mean thousands of people showed up. Not only that, he introduced his son, Baron Trump, to the fight. He made his choice, and he's a, he's a very good guy, I'll tell you. You know, I'm not allowed to call them boy, but he is my boy. He's my boy. They're all my boys, right? When you have sons, you can be any age. They're your boy. They're always going to be, and he's a very special guy. Baron Trump. This is the first time he's ever been. That's the first time he's done it. That's the first time, right? Hey, you're pretty popular, right? He might be more popular than Don and Eric. We gotta talk about it. Hey, Don, we gotta talk about this, huh? All right. So, Baron, it's good to have you. Welcome to the scene, Baron. I don't know. He had such a nice, easy life. Now it's a little bit changed. Anyway, a special guy, right? Oh, his life has definitely uh, changed after that night, for sure. I'm pretty sure that the world were aware of Baron Trump, which, by the way, God literally said copy and paste as it relates to Donald Trump. God was up there like, you know what, man? We're just going to give him the same face as his dad. Like, boom, he's the same man. Bow. He's going to be a little taller, honestly. But, yeah, he's definitely going to be... Uh, um, how do I say this? His Twitter handle is going to have a little more mentions today <laughs> just because of that one shout out. But hey, welcome to the fight, man. Everybody's been saying uh, he's now going to be introduced to a host of problems since his father recently publicly decided to, uh, you know, uh, shout him out. But as we continue down this rally, we're going to talk about how Biden is being challenged to a golf match and then his response. But before that, I want to uh, take it to this clip from Byron Donalds, who was also there. And he was talking about under Trump, we will return to common sense policy under Trump. We were secured a butter border under butter. <laughs> how about I just let him do it? <laughs> we're going to get back to common sense policy in America. We're going to secure our borders here in America. We're going to get our government under control and we're going to get inflation down here in America. We are going to once again demonstrate to the world what sound, sober, principled and strong leadership is. The leadership needed for a safe world and for a safe America. And that's going to be led by the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Hey, man, to that. I always like Byron Donalds. I'm not going to lie. He's somebody whom I uh, admire. Somebody whom is more like a mentor uh, indirectly, obviously. I don't know him personally, uh, but I love the way he carries himself. I love how he handles himself when he's in these confrontational situations. And, you know, just generally speaking, just how he treats everybody around him with dignity and respect. And despite getting the flack, he responds with such class. Um, and I think he'll make a good VP. I'm just saying. You know, Trump ain't announced it yet, but I think he'd make a good VP. Anyhow, <clears throat> we have somebody up here with the Navy hat on, so I'm assuming he was uh, definitely in the Navy who went up there to speak. Um, and he said a vote for President Trump is a vote for American safety, freedom, and prosperity. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree? We are going to vote for this. We're going to vote for a secure border. We're going to vote for a strong, lethal military. We're going to we're going to vote for low inflation, lower mortgage rates. We're going to vote for allies that respect us, enemies that, that fear us. If we vote for Donald Trump, all those things are going to happen. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for you caring enough to come out tonight to support my friend and your friend, the 47th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Have a great night. Tell you what, man, the people want Trump back. The streets want Trump back. We need him to be 45 and 47, okay? Because what we what we decided to accept in the middle, dog, 
what and at that uh, rally it was said that he had over 45,000 people there mind you they said uh, it was a big crowd gathering to see president trump ahead of the rally in miami uh it's brutally humid there in miami uh but many people are waiting we're waiting in the rain and the heat uh and showers to see president donald trump that type of dedication man should not go unnoticed and it should be noted This ain't even half of literally. But uh, this rally definitely didn't go without its challenges, or how should I say, uh, it didn't go without him challenging Joe Biden, right? Uh, Trump challenged Joe Biden to an 18-hole golf match. Uh, says that he will give Biden 20 strokes. <laughs> oh, you know, I was going to make a very, very dark joke. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one to myself. Uh, but yeah, he would give Biden 20 strokes. And if he loses, he will donate a million to charity of uh, Biden's choice. This is gold. I'm also officially challenging Crooked Joe to an 18-hole golf match right here. Under Al's Blue Monster, considered one of the greatest tournament golf courses anywhere in the world, one of the great courses of the world. It will be among the most watched sporting events in history, maybe bigger than the Ryder Cup or even the Masters. And I will even give Joe Biden 10 strokes aside, 10 strokes, that's a lot. <laughs> that means 20 strokes in case you don't play golf. I will give him 10 strokes aside, and if he wins, I will give the charity of his choice, any charity that he wants, one million dollars. And I'll bet you he doesn't take the offer. I'm all And just like that, Donald Trump was right. Oh my gosh. Uh let me let me just get to the tweet. Let me just go and go to the screen. Y'all forget that. Trying to transition all smooth and stuff. And he on uh, lives a TikTok posted. So Trump just challenged Biden to a golf match. The Biden team responded mocking it and claims Biden, quote, doesn't have time for these, quote, weird antics. But it was actually Biden who initially challenged Trump at the debate to play golf. Now, before I read this statement on the Trump challenge from the official Biden and Harris campaign, let's uh, go down here and see some uh, responses. Uh, Raleigh Gaines says, you know, they just thought they ate with this line. Uh, are we at the bottom par of the course? She highlighted. We'll get to that in a second. Common Sense Custodian says the fact that they even respond to shows how on a tilt Trump has the Biden campaign. LOL. Uh, AKA uh, says all these appointments with the Parkinson specialist really added. <laughs> I pay to watch it. Joe Biden wouldn't get to second uh, to the second hole. Somebody said Trump would destroy Sleepy Joe. I haven't seen him play golf, but you know I see him all the time on his golf cart. I definitely know he'd be out there. Uh. Uh, oh, let me go ahead and save this. I'll save this for another video. Anyhow, did you also notice the complete disregard uh, for the quotations? Some in the front, but no end quotes. Proof that college failed the staffer who wrote this. Oh, wow. Joe Biden spent seven days at Camp David to prepare for the debate. Then he did so badly that the Democratic Party wants to replace him. Now that is true. Now, let's go ahead and read this official story. What is this? And well, by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf with you. Carry your own bag. Oh, wow. Okay, boom. So we just got live and direct right there. That was that was him who initiated it, right? So let me see. Maybe I can get y'all to another screen and we, uh, okay, that one ain't going to work. Maybe I'll do this one. Here we go. Donald Trump hasn't been seen in public for 12 days. Now he's inviting fictional serial killers to dinner, teasing little Mark Ru Marco Rubio, praising Project 2025, architect Tom Homan, and challenging a president of the United States to golf. Quote, we challenged Donald Trump to create jobs, but he lost three million. Oh, they're going to try to take this route with it. <laughs> 
Uh, we challenge we challenged Donald Trump to stand up to Putin, but he bent the knee to him. Wow. We challenge Donald Trump to follow the law, but he breaks it. Why ain't they putting in? Okay, now I see what she's talking about. They ain't put no in quotations at the end of these and at the end of none of these sentences. I see what Riley was talking about. We challenge Donald Trump. To not destroy our country But that's all that his Project 2025 Aims uh, to do But I'm saying though Project 2025 has nothing to do with him And y'all realize y'all doing the same projection That y'all did four years ago Before he got in the office uh, Well I'm sorry eight years ago Before he got in the office And tried to do the same thing four years ago But you know I ultimately y'all You know y'all machines helped y'all out And uh, yeah man We know for a fact that You know your boy we, we had him for four years We know for a fact that You, you know He's not gonna be out here Doing none of the stuff That y'all projecting Quote Joe Biden Doesn't have time For Donald Trump's weird antics He's busy leading America And defending the free world Really? You, you busy You know Getting White House up And getting some naps in And being told what to do Alright cool Donald Trump is a liar A convict uh, And a fraud Only out for himself Par for the course Oh my gosh y'all They really thought They ate with this one <laughs> At the end of the day, I challenge you, Biden, just not to be challenged in any kind of way, man. Honestly, because you out here lying and then, you know what I'm saying, trying to make us believe the lies. Like, we challenged to something like that, dog. We live in this world. We was here when Trump was here. And the stuff that you saying he gonna do ain't happened. The stuff y'all said was gonna happen didn't happen. I ain't falling for the BS no more, man.